Japan's Emotion Reading AI, watching your every move. Japan is quietly testing one of the most advanced surveillance systems on the planet. And it's not just watching you, it's feeling you. In train stations, shopping centers, and office buildings, Emotion Reading AI is scanning the public in real time. Its goal? To identify emotional states like anger, fear, exhaustion, or sickness, before problems happen. The system works by analyzing your face. Tiny micro-expressions, skin temperature changes, heart rate fluctuations captured by specialized cameras, even how long you stare at a screen. If someone appears distressed, aggressive, or unwell, the system can alert authorities or security personnel instantly. In public transit systems, workers may be flagged before shifts if signs of fatigue are detected. In airports, nervous travelers might be pulled aside for extra screening. Supporters say this technology could prevent workplace accidents, medical emergencies, or even violence. But critics see something far more dangerous. Every facial scan creates a data profile, a constantly updated map of your emotional baseline. Over time that data could be sold, shared, or hacked. Companies could adjust prices based on your mood. Governments could predict dissent before protests begin. Insurance companies could deny coverage based on stress levels. In Japan these systems are already active, small scale now but expanding fast. As facial recognition becomes normalized, adding emotional profiling is simply the next step. But how much of yourself are you giving away, simply by showing your face? When technology starts reading your emotions, who controls the algorithm, and who owns your feelings? This is virtual divide.